Video games are an escape for the 215 million Americans who play each week. All right, all right, don't, don't shoot him, don't shoot him, don't shoot him, don't shoot him. People like Chris Stevens. Hey, I brought you your teammate! I brought you your teammate! Who came of age in the gamer era. I remember growing up in the 80s having a Nintendo and playing Super Mario Brothers. The console's a bit more sophisticated now. Gamers are immersed in online worlds. They create accounts attached to personal information. They upload videos to YouTube and live stream on platforms like Twitch. A lot of it is just interaction, interacting with people, being able to talk to people that, that like the same things that you like. But it all comes with a glitch. Gamers are also a favorite target of hackers. As Stevens found out in 2017. I'm not exactly sure how they got into it, but I had gotten an email from EA letting me know that somebody had logged into my account. The hacker also altered Stevens' language preference to Russian. He had to use Google Translate to read the email and figure out his password was changed by somebody from a Russian IP address. Is there that instance of panic? You kind of stop and wonder, what else has been compromised? According to a report from cybersecurity company Akamai, in 2020, the video game industry suffered more than 240 million attacks, often through mobile or web-based games. Another security company, Kaspersky, says it detected and prevented more than 5.8 million cyber attacks by malware and unwanted software disguised as popular PC games. It flies under the radar, right? Video games don't fall in that same category that we think about for scary hacks like banks and financial institutions or even social media accounts. Alex Netty is the CEO of cybersecurity company Hive Systems. He says not only are video game accounts worth a lot of money, but they are often linked to credit cards. For those hackers and scammers, that makes kids and adults alike a really great target for them. So as a result, whether you're on a PC or a console like a PlayStation or an Xbox, you're at the same amount of risk. Of the American adults who currently play online games, a Norton LifeLock report shows almost half experienced a cyber attack to a gaming account or device. Now think about how many kids play video games. According to the Entertainment Software Association, which lobbies on behalf of some of the largest game companies, 71% of children under the age of 18 are gamers. For so many youth, gaming is a huge part of their lives and just their desire and drive every day. The game is the motivation. Marcy Thornhill is a mom and youth advocate. For 17 years, she's run a nonprofit helping teens prepare for college and choose a career. She encourages parents to actively monitor who their children are talking to over games. Get to understand what they're looking at and know that the video game is not a babysitter. Okay, you have to take more of a proactive role in your child's life. Thornhill says know the names of the games your children are playing. Check the ratings. Sit beside them when they play. And dive into the settings menu. Explore it. Find out what you can turn on and off. Know how to shut off a chat window. For kids and adults alike, be aware of who you're talking to. Understand and expect what they might be chatting about and keep an eye out for those links that might look malicious or dangerous. Chris Stevens experienced several hacking attempts over the years. I was able to recover those accounts. He says, turn on two-factor authentication for every game account. It's an extra layer of security he wishes he had done sooner. I knew that there was a security risk there, but I really didn't think that anybody would do anything. And lo and behold, uh, both of my accounts got broken into. I, I've gotten better about it over time, but it's one of those things where you don't think it will happen to you until it does. 
experts say report any strange activity inside a game to the company who owns it. Teach your children to be wary of clicking on links or giving out personal information in a chat. Better yet, disable the chat. Check out parentaltools.org. It can help you navigate a game's settings. And help your child understand why it's important to have a different password for each game account. For Investigate TV, I'm Rachel DePompa.